Oh, night fishing is dangerous. Don't try this at home, kids. You kill yourself. Well, if you're 40, that is. <laughs> Yo, yo, Titus, got a fish on your rod, uh, snapper maybe, I got to turn on the light, what'd you say, shit happens, yeah, it's a snapper, Titus is on, what do we got? Not big, it's still a fish. It counts. It counts. For improvised fishing that we're doing. Yeah, is he big? No. Well, what's better? Yeah, he's bigger than the other one. Let's measure him out. Oh yeah, he's definitely a keep, man. He's 12, he's pushing 12. Oh yeah, he's 12. Gonna be a catch and cook snapper video. Hey everybody. So the weather here has been pretty uh, pretty windy. Can't really get out on the kayak much. Uh, I've tried early morning, but just haven't been able to stay out there long enough to put together a video. So I went to the bridge last night and uh, we did some snapper fishing. Rained a lot. We did manage to get a couple for another catch and cook. Today, mangrove snapper. I don't have a whole lot of footage from last night. You saw the catch, let's get to the cook. Glad to have you along. Now in keeping with the simple theme, we're gonna do the same thing that I did with the black sea bass, only we're gonna fry it this time. Uh, salt, pepper, olive oil, and we're gonna use some flour this time. And uh, I'm gonna put in a little bit of habanero pepper powder that I grew in my own garden, just to add a little bit of spice to it. Love my spice. We'll get to that in a second. Now, so this video isn't as long as the last one, the catch was quick, simple, a little hard to see. It was pretty dark. The weather didn't allow for good lighting. I already went ahead and scaled the fish, gutted the fish, and beheaded the fish. So all we have are these. All right, so here we go. Like I said, they've already been scaled, cleaned, and I even went ahead and put the slits in them like I always do to ensure that even cook when you go ahead and put it on the fryer or when you bake it or when you grill it. You always want to put lines slits in your fish to make sure that they are uh, gonna cook evenly okay first things first olive oil I like to put the olive oil on there and make sure that my seasoning stick to the fish evenly I don't have to worry about it um, some sides having more seasoning than others every bite's gonna taste pretty much the same because this olive oil is really really good at keeping the seasonings together okay don't have to go too crazy. Just got to put a little bit on there. Now, salt, pepper. Both sides. Season it to taste. Again, very simple recipe. Nothing too crazy here. Salt. Pepper. After you have your salt and pepper, we'll go ahead and put on the very next best thing in life and that's garlic trying not to touch the fish with my fork because I'm putting it back inside the garlic container just take the garlic push it in the slits push it in make sure that's in there good that way when it cooks that garlic will transmit throughout the fish and taste absolutely delicious okay Get it in the slits that we made so it cooks evenly. Mm -hmm. That's that. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use some flour to coat the outsides. Give it that nice crisp golden look and also help seal in all of those seasonings so that way your fish can taste amazing. The next two steps before we put this on the oil. Got the flour on the plate now. Here I have habanero dust 
I grow my own peppers in my garden out back. I dehydrate them and then I grind them up and I use them for recipes such as this. Everyone's heat tolerance is different. You don't need a whole lot. It's not a lot there. It's probably enough to spice up my life a little bit, but at the end of the day, it's gonna taste delicious. It's optional. You don't have to put the hot stuff in there, but if you like it, trust me, mango snapper with a little spice, oh, does everything nice. So now we're just gonna go ahead and mix this up. Doesn't have to be too crazy. Just, you know, get it in there. Mix it around a little bit. Okay. Take my fingers. Flatten it out. Now, like I said, I like to season my fish first. That way when I put the fish onto the flour, it keeps all the seasonings inside and attached to the fish. Most people will put the seasonings into the flour and then just roll their fish around in it. I don't like doing it that way because of the inconsistency you get with your flavor, because of the uneven disbursement and whatever the seasonings in the flour. So the way I do it will be the way I always do it because I'm guaranteed to have good flavor throughout the entire fish, especially when the flour falls off in some spots. It takes the seasoning with you. So try that the next time you do fish. So here we go. I already got olive oil on it, so this flour should stick to it immediately. Let's roll it over and take a look. Yep, there it is. Nice. Now, you wanna spread it open here and get some flour on the insides. Like I said, it is going to trap in all of your seasonings. And we can't forget the tail, that's the best part. Oh, there's nothing better than a crunchy tail. Nothing better than that, okay. So now we've got our snapper very, very nicely coated with flour. We're gonna take it out to the grill and put it on our frying pan. All right, sit tight, be right back. All right, now that our oil is nice and ready, we can get our fish on the fryer. Only takes a couple minutes per side. It doesn't have to go too long. You don't want to overcook it, but you don't want to undercook it. This is a pretty thick fish, so we'll keep an eye on it. But usually two to three minutes per side, and you should be good to go. Nothing too crazy. All right, we'll see you in a couple of minutes when we go to flip it. All right, it's been a couple minutes. We're gonna go ahead and flip this now. Oh, look at that. Beautiful color. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said, it doesn't take long. And the more you cook these, the better you'll get at eyeballing them. But generally two, three, maybe four minutes per side. It all depends on how thick the fish is. Like I said, this is a fairly thick snapper, so I did it a little on the longer side and it looks amazing. All right, be back when it's done. All right, I think we might be done. Take a quick peek here. Oh yeah. All right, turn off the grill. Get this bad boy on the plate. Oh, you know what I forgot? One second. All right, I'm back. <laughs> I forgot to put the napkins on my plate to help absorb this oil because it, we're gonna let it sit for a bit, let it firm up. Just look at that color. Oh, it is absolutely delicious. All right, let's let this firm up real quick. We'll go inside and we'll give it a taste. All right, <laughs> let's try this again. This YouTube life is tough. I just had my batteries died more than three quarters of the way through the recording, but whatever, I'm learning here. So back to the fish. Here is the golden 
deliciousness that is spicy mangrove snapper. Salt, pepper, olive oil, flour, and what I like to refer to as habanero dust. Habanero peppers that I dehydrate and grind in my house. Beautiful coloration all the way through. You can see where the garlic has been mashed in there and had fried very well. Oh, okay. The part that I've been waiting for, but I couldn't do it because the camera died. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and break it open. Usually I scrape it off, but I'm gonna I just want to break it open so you can see how beautiful that is. Alright. Let's try this. Please forgive me. But it wouldn't be a catch cook video if I didn't sample it. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so delicious. Beautiful white, white meat. Which is one of the reasons why I like to bleed every single fish that I keep. Hopefully that focuses and you can see it. Nice, white, beautiful, delicious meat. Now, not everybody likes this part, but this part is like candy. The caviar, creme de la creme, the tail. Listen to this crunch. It's like eating potato chips. Nothing better than tail. Kind of like eating pig ears and pig's feet. People don't usually think about eating them, but boy, they're delicious. I'm going to have some more of this fish. But in the meantime, while I finish this fish, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, share this with your friends, your family. Help me grow my channel. I'm doing this as a hobby to have, a hobby, to have fun, and I want you to join me on this journey. Until then, enjoy your fish. I'll see you out on the water.